Uh, this is uh, another one of uh, important uh, MCQ papers uh, because uh, there are a lot of information that you can take. Uh, we will start with the first one. So uh, the wavelength of green light is given here and uh, and is observed in the emission spectrum of uh, hydrogen. Uh, the energy of one photon of this green light is. So normally, uh, if you remember about the general case, so we can have like E is equal to HF to calculate the energy of a photon. So the uh, energy of a single photon could be given by the product of Planck constant and a frequency. And then uh, you will have a separate equation for frequency that is uh, C is equal to F lambda. So you can substitute here frequency is uh, C over lambda. So you can substitute this here. And then you will have an equation where it is equal to H uh, C over lambda, right? So this is a constant, this is a constant, and you just need to divide it by the lambda value, which is given here in the question to get the energy of a photon, okay? So this is a normal method. So you should know the Planck constant, you should know the velocity. So Planck constant 6.6 to the power minus 34, and then 3 to the power eight, then uh, lambda is given here. So you can directly calculate energy of the photon. Okay, so this is the normal way. If not in cases, so if you remember about our method, so we discussed this uh, in many cases, energy of a mole, right? Energy of a, a mole of photon is equal to our constant, which is 1.2 into 10 to the power of five. If you can remember that divided by the wavelength in nanometers. So here the wavelength is given in meters. So if you want to convert this into nanometer, this will be 10 to the power nine. So this will be multiplied by 10 to the power nine, which is 442, right? So this is energy of a mole of photon, according to our method. So if you want to find energy of a single photon, 1.2, 10 to the power five, and 442, which is in nanometer, which gives us the energy of a mole of a photon. And you need to divide this by the Avogadro's number because you need to find the energy of one photon. So this will be uh, 6.023 uh, into 10 to the power 23, okay? So what is the uh, what is the thing that we avoid here? Each H and C here, because we take that as this constant 1.2, right? Uh, you can uh, anyway do it in this way or this way. So when you try to solve this one automatically, you would see that uh, you can automatically get this 10 to the power minus 19 factor. Okay. And uh, you have to do a simple calculation. For an example here, you can think this is uh, 1.2, there is one. In six, 1.2, there are like five. In case, then you can multiply this automatically, this will be canceling out. And uh, canceling out means you can solve this further and get a solution, okay? Now this question is uh, very straightforward. You can uh, do it. Uh, you have. You should have done this in uh, at least thirty seconds, or maybe forty seconds. Okay. <clears throat> 